We're back. Welcome back. <laughs> That's about the third phone call that I've gotten. <laughs> the first time we were close enough to the beginning that we, I guess it's the second, second. one. Uh, the first time we were close enough to the beginning, we started over. Yeah. But this time, we're not redoing all of that. Oh, my gosh. I don't think I could remember everything no. that I said. So and And, yeah. It's already a good video. We've got it. Yeah. We'll put it out in two parts. Yeah. So, and it was an okay time for it to happen because we are up to finishes and our whip review. And we're uh -huh. going to try and do, starting to explain this, we're yes. going to try and do a quarterly review um, <clears throat> of things that we finished, of things that we um, have been working on, maybe what we want to work on. Okay. So, uh, let me see. I have a few finishes that I can see, start you with. Do yours in half? Yeah. I can show you. I did not bring everything that I finished. I haven't finished a whole lot. But one of them that I did finish is Winter Cometh by Summer House Stitchworks. Love that one. And this is what mine looks like. I love that. Do you need to have that for a while? I might need to hold on to it. <laughs> And then the next one that I finished, another one that I finished, Look, let's just say it that I way. I got Happy Mail. <laughs> <laughs> um, is Haunting Halloween. And I did this longer one, and I have plans to do the shorter, the scissor fob. Is that what you did? Yeah. Ah, cute. And I changed mine a little bit <clears throat> and put some buttons on. But there is mine. And cute, I cute, loved cute, it. Cute, I cute. thought it was such a fun one. And um, then my most recent finish is the Peace on Earth um, Sal that was on Facebook from um, Cottage Garden Samplings. I don't think I've had the opportunity to show you this one yet. So I don't this, remember seeing it. Well, and I complete. think I finished it in like right after our last video. Oh, but that is so it. Cute. I had to finish up this section. Yes, and I love the colors that I ended up going with. I love that. So love that's it. what I have for finishes. You want to show your finishes? Oh, okay. I have, I can't believe how many I have. <laughs> I know, I was going through and I was telling her everything and she's like, what? <laughs> Bird on an egg. I got that one done. Mm -hmm. Remember it? I think it's just fine. I was going to ask if you needed it. And then antique scissors. I finished it up. Thank you, Teresa. That was so cute. And then... Do I need to flip back and Yes. Look? Okay. I'm going quick, guys. I, I have to think, think when she did it. This one. And of course the pages won't come apart. Simple Harvest. Simple Harvest. From Blackbird Designs. Yeah. I was looking at that this week and thinking... That I might have to sit down and do it, and what colors would I do it in? That's the one that I finished up in one week. It was so. And if you read, so if you read in the book, it says I finished this in one night. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna do one. <laughs> well, I, she may do marathon stitching. Well, she may, but oh my god, I couldn't. There's no way. And then I did jingle all the way. I finished it up. I love that red check. I do too. It's so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna do it in a frame or um what do you call it pillow thank you <laughs> oh that was a hard word <laughs> <laughs> these go in here before this guy well those were that was way back at the yeah. beginning yeah so i did um if you remember this one i'm so happy to have it done i need to have it framed now twas the night so I finish this all up. Really like that. I was trying to figure out what else we had in here. I think you've got them all. Do you know what that one's called? Uh, this is Eleanor J. Yeagler. Yeah, okay. Oops, there, see, I, I got see back to it. which way it goes. It may be a last year finish, um, but because we showed it on January mm. 1st, yeah. but... It's what Nancy's shown in this year. This is really hard to see because it's it's kind of a tone on tone, but that's Eleanor. Really Yager. delicate. Yeah. 
And then my blue flower by the work basket on my Parisian stripe. I love that stripe. I do too. I'm and the have flower to get looks some more so of that. pretty on it. I know Cece's carries some yes. of that. And I That's wish they carried it, it in bigger pieces. Yes, because they're they're only this small size. So that's it for me. Okay. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about whips that I've worked on this quarter. So one of them is my struggle project. Oh, and I have this in my pretty bag from our New Zealand friends. <laughs> Look at that. Love it. So it's Snowfire Christmas by Just Nan. This is my struggle piece. And... I maybe have gotten over the hump a little bit, and I am this far. So I'm doing pretty good. I have, <clears throat> I'm I'm almost two thirds of the way. Yeah, I was gonna say you're more than half. Mm -hmm. And everything is on there. Good. Um, I've done all the beading as I go. Since I stitch in hand, I can do that. So you don't have to go back. That would be the killer. If it was hard to stitch your stitches and then have to go back and add all the beading in. That's the one where Debbie Dewey gave me a beading yeah. needle and saved me. Thank you, Debbie. <laughs> so. That's always great. Yeah. Friends are so good to have. And then because of Harry Potter group, I started a silly little project called Frolicking by Amy Brook and Designs. I'm not sure that I'm putting that on. I think I'm just doing the little Santa. And I had this piece of Arctic leftover from when I did Reindeer Alphabet. Where the heck is it? <laughs> this is my start. <laughs> that was enough stitches to satisfy the requirement. And so I did that. I was expecting a whole big old piece. <laughs> no, it's just a baby. And I gotta figure out what I took that out of now. Oh, good. And then I had, oh, see my pretty mm -hmm. tulip pink bag that Judy didn't know was tulip pink. Owls. Those owls, yeah. Who could have known? Yeah. And this is my Alessandra Adelaide Halloween. Oops, there it is. I thought it was in the bag. <laughs> Halloween. Love that. And I, that must be her signature, signature. down there in orange. I am doing mine on um, French Lilac from Picture This Plus, and mine is on... Where did you count? Thank you. Belfast. And this is what mine looks like right now. Very cool. And that creepy spider. And I do need to get about 500 <coughs> stitches into it. Um, oh, that's just part of the design. Okay. I need to get about 500 stitches into it to fulfill a monthly um, extra credit. Mm. requirement. It won't be hard because I need to do the lines coming up um, across the spider web. Yeah. So I will get that part done and then it may hang out for a while. Yeah, I was telling Laura this week that I actually, for some odd reason, <clears throat> counted my stitches as I was stitching one evening on a project that I can't talk about. And I put in 200 stitches in no time. Mm -hmm. So Sometimes I think when you count stitches, it speeds you up because you want to see what you can get done. Yeah. And it's just fun. It's not like I would do this all the time. It's no. not like it's a fun thing to it, just you do. Know, it's almost overwhelming sometimes to think, oh my God, how many stitches are in this little bitty piece? But the good thing for me is that with this Harry Potter group where I know I have to put blocks of 500 stitches in, I know that that's not so awful. Yeah, it sounds so ter terrible. Um, I've been working on Green on Green from Rosewood Manor. Um, and I got to see a couple of these and some pictures of some different ones from our friend Sarah, the backward stitcher, and Hi, um, Sarah. and her sister-in-law. And several of them her are... Her sister-in-law, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> and several of them in their group are stitching green on green, and they're using different materials. Yeah. They're not necessarily making them green. But this is what I have done. That's so it's really looking cool. pretty good. Yeah. And I enjoy working on this, but I am going to take a break from this one and work on another one that kind of has the same feel for me. So you're kind of halfway on the bottom here. Yeah, I have to do... 
I have to do this huge <laughs> motif. That's the biggest thing coming along. And the ladies were telling me um, some of them are taking this alphabet and um, writing a verse with yeah. it instead. And I don't know if I'll do that or if I'll just do the alphabet. I really like the alphabet. Yes, I think it's very striking. So, and with my pretty um, green and brown floss from Carrie's Creations, I think I may just mm -hmm. leave it and go on like that. Now, one of them was using um, one of the new over dyes from DMC. And wow, was that pretty. <laughs> wow. So that's mostly what I've been working on. Do you okay. want to show your stack? I've already shown that. I mean, these are my what I'm going to work on. Uh huh. Well, and then I'll, I'll show you this. I'll talk I'm, through my craziness. This um, I was doing really good on this. This is my fresh eggs from Cricut Collection. So that was the deal. And then I got really upset yesterday. No, because you were doing so well. Well, yes. So, as you see, there's a big knot over there on the side. I got, I've got these all in, but if you look close, you can see that this first G is bigger than the rest of the letters. So, I thought, I'm just going to make the S a little bit taller and make it work together, okay? It's like three rows. I don't even notice it. See? Uh-huh. And then this one is shorter. So I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> but I was working on the S and got it, got the black rooster all outlined. And then I was putting it up and I, here was the bottom of it. About four rows too high. Oh, no. So I had to start picking it out. But look, you got to look at the... I gotta get up where you can see this. You gotta look at the chickens. They are so cute. There's my red girl. And I did her in circles. And then there's the creamy white. I kinda did her back and forth. And then the gold one. I did her tail back and forth and then I did round and round on her body. So I think it makes a difference. It does. I like him. <laughs> And it's, it's fun to try some yeah. different things, too, and just see what affects. Yeah, and that floss, that gold floss, it looks, when you look at it, it looks the same color. There's definitely other colors in it. I know that Vicki, <clears throat> Vicki and Doug, in Stitch, oh, or mm -hmm. IX Stitch, I always want to say the yeah. wrong one there, <laughs> IX Stitch, Vicki showed a sample card with um, using overdyed floss and doing stitching different ways oh and it was interesting because you could see it all on that card mm -hmm. so i got a lovely comment from them this week thank you so much it was really sweet so you want me to do these yeah this is where we're at. you know what we didn't you brought your book and we never talked about who you watched okay i watched. we're really like out of sorts <laughs> this week i finished i finished watching sarah the backward stitcher and I just had to laugh because she said that I enabled her <laughs> on warm winter woolens. That she saw that I held that up and she just had to have it. So she had to go buy it right then. So it was cute. She had a lot of different things that she was working on. I really liked them. Sarah always has a good variety. It's amazing the things she does. And then I did watch IX Stitch. And um, she was showing... She stitches in hand. I don't even know how she does it. Because instead of stitching this way, she stitches this way. In hand. And I I would have been totally confused. <laughs> but um, she said it's because that's how she learned to sew. Okay. So that's why she's doing that. And then I watched Kansas City Girl in Colorado World. Loved the strip quilt that she did. It was so pretty. It was pink and blacks and creams and done in um, like diamond type patterns. It's really pretty. And then she's working on a sampler and I miss the name of it, but she's changing it to a Gilmore Girls tribute. Oh, I know which one that is. Um, I won't think of the yeah, name. Yeah, but it was that's a cute idea. I love seeing all your samplers, but I am not. 
I'm not a historic sampler no, stitcher. Me either, really. I stitch a lot of alphabets, yeah. that's for sure. And then the last thing I wanted to mention was um, she was doing the works of Jane Austen, and I really loved mm -hmm. that. She has some really pretty ones. Julie is really cool with things like that. So I don't know who it's by, though. So um, I think it's somebody online. It may be Sampler Girl. Okay. Sampler Girl, Sampler Gal. <clears throat> I think it's Sampler Girl. She had a lot out to there. Back it up and figure it out, but I couldn't understand. On TV. Yeah, and it TV doesn't work well, you know, back up. It it kinda You have to take your <laughs> iPad and have it in there with you because you can tap and back up with that. So um I watched <laughs> I I mean I've had a fun time this week watching people, but I think I mostly watch the people that I usually watch. I had to watch Michelle Bendy, of course. <laughs> and um, I did watch Candace Slublover Stitches. Yes. And I watched her, her first Thursday. one. Yeah, I watched her first one. She's really cute. Um, and she has a warning on there. And in fact, when I pulled the video up, it popped a warning up and said, there's a warning on this video. Do you want to proceed? And I'm thinking, what am I getting into? And yeah. then it starts, and it's this lovely person, Candace, who is showing all of her things. But she likes a little bit of her subversive cross-stitch, and it's in there. I will oh, say okay. that I sat staring at her shirt, <laughs> and her video was a little over an hour, and I was trying, trying, trying to figure out what in the world it said. And um, I think my husband said something like Gorgops or I, and I just, it's a graffiti style oh. um, font and I just couldn't get it. So, <laughs> so Candace, if you're watching, will you please tell me what that shirt said? <laughs> it's going to drive her crazy. It though. is. <laughs> and it's a short drive some days. Yeah. So. I know that feeling too. <laughs> but I enjoyed watching her and she had all sorts of projects. And I need to go back and watch the rest of her videos. She's yeah. only made um, four or five at this point. So it's not a hard thing to catch up with yeah, her. Yeah, it'd be easy to catch up. And I also watched, and I don't know if you got to watch her. I'll say it the wrong way, Nancy. Blue, um, blue, blue horse, horse, yellow cow. Yellow horse, blue cow. I, Linda, I'm sorry. I can never think exactly which way it is. And... And I love, I mean, it's about paintings and all sorts of things, so. Oh, blue hearse. There you go. Blue horse. <laughs> but um, it made me think, for one thing, if you're not watching her, you should go watch her. She is a lovely, lovely woman yeah. who does some beautiful stitching, and she has the it's sweetest... Blue horse, yellow cow. Blue horse, yellow cow. She has the sweetest, most calming presence on film. And uh, when her daughter is with her, they both get really tickled with each other. And I love that. Yeah, that's fun. However, her video before, they had been on together. And um, she has not made a video in a while. And it's because she got some negative feedback. And... She got several thumbs down. We don't mind a thumbs down, but if you are going to be that person who does that, then you need to explain why. Right. right. What do you not like? I'm not saying we're going to change anything. No. What I am saying is that you need to have the guts to back up why you do that and make somebody feel bad. Right. And I have, I know, I have fat fingered. A thumbs down multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Especially on your phone. Yeah. You and I will. And then, you know, in the course of trying to get it off there, it sticks and yeah. I'm I'm gone. So I will put in and say, I hit the thumbs down and I can't get rid of it. Because then, you know, that gives the person a giggle. Um, we have had lovely viewers who have said, we can't hear you very well. Yeah. Your uh, color is dark today. We love that kind of feedback. Mm -hmm. And if you think, you know, whatever, you should, you should be able to say it, but don't be a coward about it. Right. And that, I'm sorry to, to talk like that, but that really, that really irritated me that she was upset by that. Well, we're a community mm -hmm. and we're a community to support and help each other, mm -hmm. not to um, make each other feel bad and run each other down. So... You know, that's why we're saying that. And it takes a lot 
to get to get to the nerve sit, up and to sit here and do this. Yes. And it takes a lot of preparation. You should see the ginormo bag yeah. I hauled with me today. Um, we spend probably 30 to 60 minutes yes. getting ready each time. Mm -hmm. And then we film. And if we have interruptions, <laughs> we, we film, film again. again. <laughs> um, but, you know, it takes a lot to get it done. And, it and most of you are lovely. But yeah. seriously, if you're going to give a thumbs Just down. Just think about what you're doing. Yeah. And again, nobody cares that you give a thumbs down. No. You just need to explain it. Yeah. Just let us know why. Yeah. What happened that day? Were you in a bad mood? Did you get up on the wrong side of the bed? Or was it me? <laughs> Did I say something? <laughs> what happened? But so. I had watched that video and... Um, you I'm know, sure I did too because I remember the two of them there laughing and giggling. Oh my gosh, they were so cute, and, and they were cute. <laughs> I just love when her daughter is on with her because I mean, you can just feel yeah how much they love each other. Yeah. So, anyway, we love you, and please stay. Yes, please stay. Please. Um, so let's keep going with our whip review now that we did that. Okay. You were, you're going to show what you're maybe thinking about, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Because I really don't know. I've got, I told Laura, I've got two stacks of whips over here. I haven't touched either one. I really don't know what's in either stack now. So I don't know that I really want, nothing's calling me. But this is Adjua Flamingo. <laughs> I love the little ones, I too. I do, too. So I may have to do those. And, of course... Fox Bew. I love that thing. If you do that, I may have to pull out my goat load and we may oh, have okay. to stitch. Do them together. And everybody can join us and stitch their stack. That's really light. Ooh, hope I can see that. But yeah, I may have to get flosses for those. And then every time I see this, I want to stitch it immediately. It's called Cross Stitch Antiques is the designer. Yes, Cross Stitch Antiques. It's Antique Sampler Fragment, 1834. Love this one. Look at that. Kathleen Littleton is the designer. Isn't that fabulous? Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and this picture on the front is the actual uh, piece that they the found. The fragment, right? Mm hmm And the, the piece that you will stitch, it's you'll really, fill in yeah. and have a little more. Yeah, oh, I sorry. love this upside down. I know, isn't that crazy? <laughs> so part of the alphabet. Can, it's up here at the top. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if I can stretch that far. Almost. Here we go. <laughs> How about right here? She's got just a little bit longer arm than I do. <laughs> you see it up there at the top? It's fun. So yeah, and there are just some quirky things on that one. And the colors, that blue is yes. like, wow. But I, I may have to stitch this even. You know, we were just talking about switching out fabrics. I may have to try to do it on something that same color, though. You know what? Your, your darker check, your browner check. Oh, do you still have one up there? I do. It's the gray. That could be a pretty one. But, you know, I've got that linen barn wood, and then I've got the, up here, this one. Or there are... Whatever those yeah. are, that's kind of a nice color. Yeah. Days Gone By is the second one. Yeah, so something... You're going to have to play, huh? You know, that's old, antique-ish looking. I was thinking that there's a brownish check, and yeah, I think I it's from... Um, well, I don't have that one out. It's is that from there. Romy's? Is that from Romy, or is that from... Romy has some. And it, who is our... No, it's whoever did the little sampler that was oh I won't think of it at Galleria they were next door neighbors and I got the last Nikki? yes Nikki's creations I had to go back to the Galleria and find her see if I describe long <laughs> enough Nancy will get it Nikki has yes. some really pretty check that would it's not like a check it's faded enough yes. that it could be really cool it would look like it was stitched on you know like Grandma's old dress or something. I think something. it's like 36 <laughs> count or 40 count. Oh, really? But okay. I may be able to find that someplace else. Okay, I am going to switch. Oh, oh sorry. My last one. 
See, I put it in the bag and forgot about it then. I really want to work on this. Somebody what kind is of... It? Somebody kind of... Yes, you need to, Nancy. Who said... Oh. Two Bs and ABCs. Because we started this cell, and we got a whole bunch of you started on it, and then we stopped. Yeah. We kind of got bogged down. Have you put your uh, basting stitches in yet? No, and I think that I need to do that, and it would help me. You know what? If we're going someplace today, maybe we should find some Ooh. floss, and I would just put your basting stitches in for you while we go. Because, um... While you're driving. I think that's a pass. I don't want to lose that. This is what I have done on it, though. Nancy started at the bottom. Am I on there? Just a little. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. I love that flower. Yeah. My problem is, though, that something is off here. So if we put in the guide stitches, you could figure out whether you can just leave it. Yeah. And that's what I think I... I think I started around... I'd have to look at it again. But... I started it, and then I realized it was going to be off, so I went to the other side of the leaves and started working on that and thought, I'll just try it and see what happens where it comes out at. Mm -hmm. But It's so pretty. And I love this fabric. I have no idea what it is because there's no tag on it, but I like it. Oh, I brought you a piece of fabric today. <gasps> Yay! I don't know how excited I'm sure be. I need it. <laughs> I was I going have a through hole on my wall. I was going through my stuff and I thought, what the hell is that? Oh sorry. <laughs> Thumbs down. <laughs> because you swore at us. <laughs> but I did think that. It's, it's just a real pretty little yellow it's piece yellow. of fabric. I don't know if you can see. It's pale, yellow. pale mm -hmm. and but it is... There an, you can see that it's yellow. It's an even weave. Mm -hmm. And I picked it up and I thought, no, why is this in my stash? <laughs> and it must have... I don't know it, if it came with a project or if I started something on it and picked it out. Because... I don't really see any stitching on it. I don't know. But it, and it may be well, smaller. Thank you anyway, Laura. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll take this hell of <laughs> So it may be a 32 count, but I think it's pale enough that you'll be okay with it. I might be able it. to do it. So see, there, I filled that hole. <laughs> you never know what I'm going to have in the ginormo bag. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, school. Now I'm really done. Are you ready for me now? Yeah. Here's the craziness. I don't know about okay. that. Let me just, if you if you have run out of drink, you need to pause this and come back. Look. <laughs> School of Magical Stitching and Literature. Ask us to create a whip list. And uh, we have to have pictures of everything. So, like, I've got to get a bunch of work done by tomorrow. And I've been thinking about it and rearranging my list and everything else. And then... <laughs> I woke up this morning and I had had the most awful dream and it was that they told us that we couldn't work on anything on our whip list. <laughs> and I did not like that. <laughs> and it did not make me happy oh, at golly. all. So I hope that's not what they have planned. I mean, we go through a lot for this school. So um, my first one is Dance of the Tulips. By Glendon Place. I love this thing. You lay them here all And here, every time I show this, you guys go nuts. Um, well, I have... it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I have this really pretty piece of fabric, and I believe it's a Silk Weaver Solo. And it just works with this. I love that. It's just pink, and, and it's kind of creamy color in with it. And just well, little hints. Purple -y it's got a little purple in it, yep. But it's got some beads on it. It's mm -hmm. so pretty. And I really don't have all that much left to Are do. Are you at the top, Curl? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I have, I don't know if the flowers go taller than that. And the, they do go oh, a little they taller. Do. Are those butterflies. Are butterflies. So you've got a tulip that's a little shorter than that curl. Mm -hmm. And then you've got two butterflies above it. 
I love it though. It's beautiful. And I love working on it. It's a beautiful piece. I have such a good time with it. Uh, then I have, I'm not going to pull this one out. You guys, I'm not pulling my patterns out. It takes too long. Oh, but I have to show it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have Strawberry Town from um, Kathy Barrick. And I use this in the monthly homework for, um, there's one that's like um, for a map and that you could use any city or town. Okay, I've changed all of my colors to be pearl cottons. And this is all one color thread at this point. Wow. So some of mine have little pink roofs and like it's a little Cute. pink fence. And I like that. It'll be quirky. And uh, well, the pattern is. Yeah. And ah, it went way across. I'll have to go get that one. Is or it you want to go get that one? It'll be after this. Okay. Then so this is why, please. <laughs> then this is why I stopped on um, green on green. I have um, from T. A. Smith Designs. This is one Nancy got me. Motif musings. And I am just in the mood to work on it. And. I think it's it feels springier to me, and maybe green on green feels a little more wintry. It's a little heavier feel. So my fabric is just kind of this blue gray, but look at my floss for this. It's you all one color. You haven't on it yet. I have. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I thought you had, but I wanted to show those things. And yeah. Then... Beautiful. <laughs> This is really long. In fact, I'm changing it a little bit because I'm putting our initials, making our initials go in order here. Isn't so. that pretty? Do I have it? Yeah, you had it right side up. <laughs> Looking, trying to decide. So I have Katie and Brendan in there, and I have to get Jeff and I. But I love Cute. this one, and it's all it's a um, it's a monochromatic Very floss. Beautiful. I mean, it's variegated floss, but it's one. Yeah. Here's what I'm trying to say. I'm only using one floss. I'm not using multiple colors. Right. There we go. That was like really tough. Then I'm skipping one Some for a little while. hard. Yeah. Um, then I have, what else is in here? Oh, it's in here. Ah. Okay. Then I have, I love this. This is from the Love and Carrots oh, leaflet. Yeah. This one is called Crazy Love. Now she calls it Crazy Love because she accidentally designed the L backwards. But I'm going to turn my L around. And she gives us a pattern to do that on the back. And I am doing mine. They did theirs on this really pretty minty green. I'm going to give you this one, but I have to do this one too. Yeah. Okay. And I've started mine. I'm doing mine on um, J. Cashel from Picture This Plus. That's pretty. It's only going to be that wide. So I love that. The mm -hmm. V is done. Yay! And next, now you can have this. Thank okay, you. Okay. Next is a very fine sampler from Birds of a Feather. And I have decided I'm only doing the picture because I do know my alphabet. Crickets, crickets, crickets. Yeah. Yes, she does. <laughs> I, I didn't mean you had to comment. You know, it just was like. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Look at that. I am so, so close. And I wanted some things. So you've got to do an, another butterfly here. I have to fill in this flower. See, this it's so flower. hard to tell because it's it's a broken stitch. Yes. But I, I have to fill in the big flower. And then, yeah, I have the butterfly. See, I've got his body. Uh -huh. And I he'll look kind of like this. And I think you may have to fill in a little bit on that flower too no no I'm I done think it's full on there I really think I just have this one huge flower and the butterfly oh and oh and a flower down, down, down here, here. Yeah. that's what I saw the flower down here because it'll look this like the one on the other side that done well. but that's it's it a very fine sampler as you can tell it's a sweet little verse it I is. just <clears throat> I'm liking this without it it is. It's a pretty piece. And then one that I have used a couple of times is um, Carrot Talk from the Work Basket. And I am using this Victorian Motto Sampler Shop, um, what's it called? Sweet Violets Floss. 
And I chose Prank Linen from Picture This Plus. And, oh look, I have the skein I'm using currently. <laughs> and, oh, that's the back. It's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> that's my bunny. Look, I that's finished so one whole bunny. It's I so got, cute. Yeah, thank you. And I've got the carrot, carrot started color. there. And the this is the nose of the bunny in the middle. <laughs> the, because it worked. Chin. Oh, it's his chin. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that's just how it worked out. And yeah. I've started the bunny on the other side even. Oh, yeah. A little. Mm -hmm. Because that's, I was trying to get stitches in and it was right there. Yeah. Uh, School of Magical Stitching and Literature. That, yeah. That I needed stitches. Is... It's bothering you, huh? Well, it's sticking out <laughs> on the seam. It probably slipped some. Yeah. I know a lot of you say don't leave your needles in things, but I um, I tend to get back to my whips pretty quickly. So I just leave them. This goes in one of my bags. I was trying to think which one. This has the green stuff. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out here in a while. My next one is New Wings A. So the one up here at the top. And this is my one that's on 18 count linen. Um, most of it is over two. However, this butterfly, which is what I've been working on most recently, is over one and has 13 different colors of DMC in it. And I have put over a thousand stitches in that butterfly. Wow. And I still have the top wings to fill out. That's crazy. The bottom is all done. This mm -hmm. part is all done. So I am seriously at the just finishing this done. up. And mm -hmm. there's a little bit in here mm. in the very center. So that's it. I love that one. I don't have a bag or anything for it. No, so it just has to, here. I'll throw it over here. Okay. Because then I'll know it goes in a bag. Then I have um, this set of four samplers from Sisters and Best Friends. And the one that I've been currently working on is Winter Peace. And I keep thinking I really want to get back to it because I love this. It's winter, though. I know, but... Mm. It's cute. Cute as can be. This, it, I'm doing them on 40 count. This is what I have done so far. So I'm really down to the alphabet. alphabet. And um, then I'll have some embellishments to put on. So it's not like there's just... And they're pretty colors. Oh, yeah. Now, the thing is, like, that's t at least two different flosses. Yeah, that's two, two flosses. Mm -hmm. So sometimes that's a little more frustrating. <laughs> Then um, my copy is PDF, so I have a, a runoff copy. Sweet Spring by Satsuma Street. And this was one that I started for, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Mania last year. Crinkle, crinkle. And this is what I have done. I've gotten, I've worked on um, this for some of the... Harry Potter group, too. So you got all the veggies in, and now you're working on the bunny. Yeah. He's Very pretty cool. cute. And then Aren't I you have... glad I told you to go refresh your drink? <laughs> we have been through... Oh, not quite half. This is, the, this is the halfway point. Whoops. I think you need a new bag. Yeah. Well, I might have a couple at home. Maybe. <laughs> then I have... If not, Judy can help you out with that. <laughs> I think I've ordered, like, my entire life savings of bags from Judy. It's so easy. Anyway, <laughs> Paradigm Lost from Long Dog Samplers. They show it um, all in one color. This is my piece that I sent in a round robin when they asked that we not do anything. Oh, I dropped the floss. When they asked that we not do anything smaller than 28 count. Which, okay, and that one I want to keep. It's what I'm working with, and there are two or three pretty close. So, oh, I'll I don't know that you're going to get to see. Can you take that side? Okay, so, oh, we are far enough back. Now go up a little bit. And there's the bottom. Look at that. We are, like, almost off screen, and we are off with a little. 
But that's it, and I have been working on this motif right in the middle. There's still quite a bit to do on this. You see all the little letters scattered down here? Well, they have to get through this whole top. And there are a few more little critters to go in, but this one has such fun stuff it really on does. it. It really does. I was looking at this big dragonfly from the back. Mm -hmm. It was really pretty. And, and that griffin. Yeah. And a bunny. Yes, I love the bunny. And there's a snail over here. The company yes. is. And the crab and the seahorse. Yes. So, I mean, there's just tons of stuff on this. Yeah. And it is such a cool, cool piece. I don't know how it folds. Yep, you got it. And then one that I put on my list because it's Katie's and she oh. sent it in a round robin. Yeah, that's your floss. Yeah. She sent it in a round robin and I really intended to get mine done and I have not gotten mine done yet. So she sent an, her poor pattern. It, it came to me like this. <laughs> Look, you can see when I catch the glare. Look at that. Gosh. Look at that. Is that crazy? It looks like she wadded it up and then straightened it back out. And it's coming apart at the corners. <laughs> it's called Hall. Oh, it's peeling. Yes. Oh it's called. See it right there on the edge? It's called Holiday Seasons from Birds of a Feather. And <laughs> that really got Nancy tickled. I think. Oh, oh this is gosh. mine. Oh my gosh. So I am working on the summer square. Look at this crazy sunbather. I love this. <laughs> and I started working on that one. I finished the little patriot over here. He's pretty cute yes. with all his 40 colors. But look, the bikini's <laughs> not filled in. Yeah. So, it's, <laughs> so it looks like a skeleton. A little naked girl. Naked. 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 Yep. And then uh, Nancy Cuckoo. said, <laughs> yeah, Nancy said she wanted me to work on that mermaid. And I'm like, what mermaid? And I was thinking of a whole different one. But it's this one, Black Pearl from the Primitive Hair. And I have started this thing on this crazy piece of Tempest. It's Cashel beautiful. She's beautiful. From Picture This Plus. And Ooh. I am using that silver for the veining in her tail. Oh. And it is a pain, but it is going to look it's spectacular. It's going to be beautiful. Then you go with this dark color. No. I've chosen some. I think that's my lettering. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. That's the greenish that's one. Green. Here's your lettering, I think. Yep. Carriage black. And I have that for the skin. And this is going to be my hair. Oh, look at that hair. Look at that. Mm. It'll be fun. This one I don't know that you can see. It's got a bunch of green in it. Let's hold it in front of Nancy shirt. It's got a lot of green in it. She sat up real tall <laughs> for you. And I just am playing with colors and things on that one. That's going to be fun. Um, now, here's the funny thing. I think this is the other piece of that fabric. Okay. The Tempest from yeah. Picture This Plus. And I'm using it for Tribal Hippo <laughs> from White Willow, White Willow Stitching. Sampling. White Willow Stitching. I was trying to figure out. It was the bag label that got oh. right in front of it. But it's, okay, so that's it, Tribal Hippo. And I am using Wait. Deep Sea Weeks Dye Works uh -huh. Deep Sea for this. And oh my gosh, this is so fun. It's all these little motifs all over. And I'm getting him. I'm getting him. This is his body back here. And his head is starting to take shape over here. Oh, head. So, there we go. My needle's loose there, too. And my next one, number 14 is be not forgetful. We had to stitch on some borders. Oh, and this is pretty. I started this as a stitch along to support my friend Vicki um, because she was doing a memorial piece for her brother and she had a My Big Toe designs. And, and she whipped hers out like that. Yeah, hers had like a straight border <laughs> all the way around. Of course, Vicki whips everything right yeah, out. Yeah, she stays up till four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> She's retired. But this is mine, and I used it for the borders assignment, and it enabled me to finish half yeah. of my border. 
I was somewhere along in here and I did the this whole top up here and just kind of moved along and this is a limited edition from Sampler yeah. Threads Gentle Arts it's browns and pinks. I was afraid it might not show on here, but it shows. It shows really well. I mean, well. The, the pinks show up. Yeah. I'll get real close. Those pinks show up really nicely. There's a kind of a tip for you. If you have the opportunity, buy some of those limited edition flosses because. Yeah, you may not use them right away, mm -hmm. but there's going to be something that comes up that makes it special. This pattern was from 2008, and I bought it probably sometime around there. And have been waiting for just the right thing to come up. That really is pretty. Thank you. Really pretty. It's and real I, delicate. Yeah. I saw that floss and I thought, oh, I have the perfect fabric in my stash. Yeah. I know exactly what I'm doing. What are you pulling? Oh, you're thinking I should use that floss no, for that? No, I'm thinking I should. Oh. Because I'm getting it. You're getting more of... That oh okay. Planet Earth, yeah. It's really pretty. By well, Ronnie. See, I should use my pink to do that. Yeah, yeah. You should show them what we're talking about because oh. we're just pointing off camera Can't here. Can you see down here in our labs? This piece that I did with uh, Rami's Planet Earth. That is so. so I love and that. Greens and browns. Wouldn't that be pretty with my pinks and browns? Yeah, it would. And it I would just be very to, pretty with those. I have to find the right fabric and again. That's, I was saying I should do that in those that floss. I love it. I like Cute. the verse on it. Yes. That's the one about entertaining. Uh, be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Mm -hmm. And I like that. Yeah, it's cool. It's it's another way of saying be nice. <laughs> and then one that I've been working on a lot, but that I really have been struggling with, is Halloween Quaker from Lila's Studio. Now there is nothing struggle bus about the design. It is very straightforward. It is fun to work on. It's easy to work on. I believe Nancy. Yep, it's going in here. Um, I'm like, what's she digging for? There's her fabric. And I have, <laughs> uh, I think it's 28 count marshmallow fudge from Silk Weaver. Yep. And I don't know where it goes, Laura. Just somewhere in there. And this is it. And look at that piece of fabric. I love oh, look. it. Dr. Moon in up here. Oh, no, it's or the broom. Oh, a broom, I see now. So this week we are visiting Hogsmeade, and I feel like this is Hogsmeade. It's got all the things. Uh, one of them was to visit Gladrag's wizard wear. I filled in my socks. You have to do 100 stitches for each of 10 shops. God. So I just keep stitching 100 stitches, taking a picture, stitching 100 stitches, yeah. taking a picture. I've got a, a fancy W I'm going to put in here for the stationery shop. The house is really cute. I don't know if you can see that different colored. I've used it for um, one of the pubs and the tea shop. And that almost looks like it's um... glow in the dark. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Did you get it? <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, so next. <laughs> yesterday was the 19th. New start on the 19th. So I have my lovely sister printed off my pages for me because I had them on my iPad and they were turned like wonky directions. <laughs> I'm doing um, June Morning by the Good Huswife. And I have a piece of linen from Picture This Plus that's so old. Oh, that's what I'm going to use it for. It's okay because this is a really tiny piece. Oh. And I have a big start. There it is. Do you see it? <laughs> this is an orphan. And it's an orphan of French lilac linen from Picture This Plus. And I have... A fat quarter of it so I mean I have a lot yeah. and it's not even gonna go to that first fold it, it might go to the first fold with margins uh, the, the, the middle center fold, fold center fold 
See, I can't see the other one yeah. looking at the screen. But that's it. Is that just a glorious piece? So they did theirs on black, and I just don't have a lot of black linen. Yeah. And I thought this would be really pretty. And I'm missing... Okay, I want to show you guys this. This is crazy. I have all these colors already, okay? All these colors. I'm missing 14 colors. <laughs> like, I don't think I have any of the blues. God. So, which is amazing to me. Yeah. So this will go in here, and the next two okay. will go in here too. Okay. It just kept sliding; it wouldn't pick up. Then um, I wanted to have a couple more of these things on my whips, so I'm starting. Um, <laughs> I'm starting things. I started this one, Queen of Quite a Lot from the Scarlet House, and I have this really pretty piece of. Um, Red pear linen, 30 count red pear. That really so that would be most, Weeks Dye Works. That really is the most fabulous color. Wait, which way did I turn my in? It goes this way. I got my in in. I only had to do... Yeah, your in in? Yeah. I had to do 30 stitches of white. So I decided, Katie said, oh, do your lettering in white. That girl, she is like always on it for me. <laughs> um, and then one that I haven't started, but that I'm I'm going to... I have a few of the flosses. Um, I have loved this ever since I first saw it. It's Blackberry House from Plum Street Samplers. And um, I was. it came out in 2015. I didn't see it until last year. I love that. And I am going Ooh, to thick, use... Too. Yeah. I'm going to use this very old piece of fabric from Picture This Plus. This was an orphan. It was supposed to be Heather, and she didn't like how wonky it died. So I got it for a really good deal. And like way cheaper than than what they go for now. Yeah. Because I've had this probably 15 years. <laughs> this and the other one that I pulled out. And I think that'll be pretty on there, don't you? Mm -hmm. You know what? You don't if you put these I'm gonna put those in, there, in your package, then that stuff can just go in. Yeah. And the other one that I want to start, and my husband told me he's really not sure about this, is um, July, July's doorbells. Didn't even realize that it said that on those. It's the July wordplay. It's red, white, and blue, like always. I have this piece of fabric that somebody dyed. I am going to figure this out because I think I can put that on there and it'll be fun. You're going to change all the colors from red, white, and blue? Yeah. Okay. I at first thought you were leaving red, white, and blue on there and I'm like, nope. Oh. Like my little Good. fish, I think are going to be Oh, they could be this purple, fuscia, they could be and, teal, yeah. they could be blues, so greens. So I'm going to play with this and That'll have a good fun. time and that will be it. That will be fun. <laughs> Okay, and number 20. Woohoo! Hour later. <laughs> I don't think we've been on quite an hour. 53 minutes. <laughs> but it's not all me. No, it's not. Uh, is two B's and ABC's from Rosewood Manor. And here is mine. See, we're going to try. We're going to try. Oops. My needle is right there. I will put it. Holding right. it all together, right? Yeah. I'll put it down here. Okay, and I can just do mine like this. This is what I have done. And I figured out where my error was, and I fixed it, and yeah. I am ready to go on. And I don't know that you can see it, but I um, I said to ask Nancy if she had done her basting stitches. Can you see them on the sides there? Man, you really can't. Yeah, it's really kind of hard, but... So I just took... Maybe more down towards the bottom you can. I think I took sewing thread. Because I have a little bit of that now. Do you see those three lines? So I have the left, right, and One, center. Two, three. So that I know where to go on this. Because this sampler does not always go to the edge. Yeah. And, and this is a pro tip from our friend Sue Wild. Yes. And it's made... A big difference for me already because I could figure out what was going on but I have a little bit left to do 
in here. I have some other stuff to yeah. go out here. And then I'll be ready to move on. And I am ready to move on to the next block. I, I want well, that, to. That's how I am on that big flower. I love it. but And it is such a pretty, pretty project, which is why we wanted to do this. Yes. We will not make you guys do something huge again the next no. time. We already have thoughts. Oh, see, I have those cute little... Mm, the um, clovers. And... That'll be fun to put in there. Mm -hmm. Those little bees were a lot of fun. I mean, there was... Okay. Um, there was a lot of pretty pieces in there. The black work is just amazing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. see what I mean? That they don't start at the edge. The, flor the floral um, parts of this do not always go to the edge. So you have to figure it out. So if you have the center marked, you can start from the center and work, and out. work out. Yeah. So, work out. Those are my 20. So okay. now I have to get all of the pictures of them. And we'll see what they make me do with them for the foreseeable future. Because they said we would, we would use this list um, for the rest of the time. And we are responsible. We had to create an album on the group. And we will be responsible for keeping it updated. Oh. So, and you could put up to 20 whips. And, of course, I always like for there to be things in there. Yeah. So, anyway, that's it for this week. We'll see what we come up with for next week. I may just be dead on the floor. Who knows? <laughs> But until then, <clears throat> she's Nancy. And she's Laura. And we are the, the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.